Hey everyone, this is Henry bringing you a brand new video and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys a few tips and tricks on the clinch. Now the clinch is a very dominant place to be if you know what you're doing and it can be an extremely dangerous place to find yourself in if you don't know what you're doing. But uh, before I go into the main tips and tricks of this video, um, I want you guys to watch this fight. It's, it's not a very long fight. Um, I want you guys to, uh, to try to see if you can figure out exactly what my opponent did wrong. And after the, after the fight or after you guys watch it, then I'm going to slowly break it down and uh, give you guys the trips. So uh, enjoy. All right, so after watching the fight, what was my opponent's first mistake? The fight starts off and my opponent stands right there. That right there was his very first mistake. Why? Standing right there makes it very easy for me to put him against the cage. When I fight in EA Sports UFC, I try my best that no matter what happens, I do not let myself get behind that line right there. The reason for that is not only can my opponent tee off and probably finish me if my back is against the cage like that or close to the cage. If my opponent is a type of fighter or player that likes to use the clinch, it's going to be very, very easy to put me up against the cage instantly. And denying that clinch attempt when you are close to the cage like that is very, very difficult as I demonstrated by putting him right on the cage instantly. And usually players do not expect that. So that was his very first mistake. So let's just say someone manages to now get you up against the cage like that in the full plumb. What the heck do you do? Well, you definitely don't do what my opponent is doing right now. You should not be that aggressive trying to escape. You know why? Because the more you try to escape, the more your stamina goes down. Now I want you guys to notice how every single time I block his attempt to escape, it pushes my player back and when I return him to the cage, his stamina goes back all the way up. Attempt pushes my player back. Watch as I push him back to the cage, his stamina goes back up. Now when I noticed that he kept going for that escape over and over again, guess what I did? I stopped pushing him back to the cage to allow his stamina to not recharge. So right now my main goal is to make sure that his stamina does not go back all the way up. So what am I doing? I am expecting this dude to constantly go for an escape. And when he goes for an escape, his stamina goes down. And when I hit him, his stamina goes down. And his stamina just constantly kept going down and down and down and down. And right now he realizes, okay, my stamina is no longer coming up. This guy is constantly hitting me, forcing my stamina to go down. And the more your stamina goes down, it's going to get to a point where you where you'll be unable to actually block knees from the clinch. Right now his stamina is all the way low. I am damaging his body. All it's going to take right now is very little shots to finish him. He escapes the clinch. I rush him, a few body shots, and fight is over. That's how simple it is. Now what could he have done differently? I'll tell you guys exactly what he could have done differently to avoid that from happening. First of all guys, you gotta practice how to deny clinch attempts. The best way to avoid being dominated in the clinch by a player who knows how to use the clinch effectively is to learn how to deny clinch attempts. There is no way around that. You have to deny them like you deny takedowns. As soon as you see your opponent going for a clinch, 
hold R2 and flick your right stick up. If you do it fast enough, you'll deny it, and it can be the difference between a win and a completely demoralizing and frustrating loss. When I fight MMA game, getting that dude in the clinch is a nightmare. Hats off to that dude because he's so good at denying them. Try to be like that. But if you do end up in the clinch, you need to realize that it's all about stamina management. It's literally about stamina management. If I have more stamina than you do in the clinch, I'll dominate you. So whatever you do, don't panic. Don't be in a hurry to get out. That's the worst thing you can do because if you keep pressing L3 over and over and over again, your stamina is just going to keep going down. And the more I hit you, the more your stamina goes down and you will be screwed. Test how good your opponent is in the clinch, okay? Hold, block, block the first strike and try to escape. While you're trying to escape, watch your stamina and make sure that it does not get low. How do you do this? Only block when you see a strike coming. Don't just hold block the whole time. And don't just try to escape over and over again. Try to transition to a single collar every once in a while. And when you get it, as soon as you get that single collar, immediately go for a takedown. Even if they deny the takedown, at least you'll be out of the clinch. Also, you should know that when you're in a full plumb, being pushed back to the cage after every escape attempt is actually a good thing because it recharges your stamina. So take advantage of that. If someone is pushing you back into the cage, it's a good thing. It's not bad. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, though. Against someone like me or someone who knows how to use the clinch really, really well, escaping the clinch is damn near impossible especially if i decide i want to demoralize you i want to frustrate you i want to keep you in the clinch the whole entire round i really i can really do it I, that's just the, that's just the truth which is why you shouldn't even let me get in the clinch to begin with okay that's the most important thing i i, I can't stress this enough the most important thing is that you learn how to deny clinch attempts drill it hard and train your reflexes to recognize it in time to deny it Go and ask MMA Game for help on that as well because he's the best at denying it. But that's pretty much it. Remember, it's all about stamina management. It's all about stamina management. Stay cool. Don't just try to escape. Transition to a single collar and shoot for a takedown right away. But most importantly, deny that clinch attempt. I am telling you guys right now, deny that clinch attempt. But that's it. I hope this video helped you guys. Let me know in the comment section if you still have any questions at all, whether it's offensively or defensively in the clinch, and I'll answer them as soon as I possibly can. But that's it, guys. Leave a like if you learned something from this video, anything at all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Be safe.